Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Nuni, and this Leo in the third house. Back with another reading. This is going to be another pick a card reading. Going to be asking a question. Who's going to make a move on you next? So, got four piles of that, normally. Um, you know, four good selection from random stuff around my house. So, pile one is going to be this uh, hand lotion, this scented hand lotion from Victoria's Secret. It's my daughter's, fresh out of her bathroom. Pile two is going to be this fire stick remote, you know, fire stick and chill, maybe a good movie, sports, maybe. Pile three is going to be this blue calcite. It's going spiritual. <laughs> and pile four is going to be my old mic, RIP to it, burned it to the ground. So that's that. So take a look at the piles and then pick your pile or piles. I'm going to get started over here with pile one. Boom, pile one. So pile one, who's going to make a move on you next? Could be someone with abundance, someone who wants to promote growth. Could be a Pisces, could be a Sagittarius, could be a Scorpio, could be a Gemini, could be a Libra. Someone who wants to promote growth or expansion, okay? Um, this is someone who normally follows their instinct. They could be a mother figure. They could be someone who um, is nurturing something or growing something that they defend regularly or something that they protect regularly or that they nurture regularly. This is someone who can see you. They're pretty wise. They may have a little bit more information than you do or have a little bit more wisdom than you do. And what they want to do is revive you or revive, maybe revive your status of some sort because we got King of Coins in reverse and we have revive right next to it, which is uh, the heart chakra in this case. So in this case, this is them showing you some love. Somebody wants to show you some type of love, you know, maybe help you. Um, this is a person who has followers, maybe subscribers or or family, I mean, could they be they have kids? Maybe they got three kids or something like that. But this is someone who's really focused on uh, laying down a solid foundation, you know, or maybe they have a solid foundation. They probably have a solid foundation themselves and it may deal with followers. Yeah, they probably have followers because the beaver spirit looks like they're teaching this this family of elephants here. So maybe they have followers, but they have this, this air of regally, of regalness, of, uh, Stat status or stature, you know, like it's something about them that stands out that seems very prominent. This is someone who's very good with their emotions, very uh, emotionally in depth. Um, this is a person who's released a lot of negativity over the course of time. They've dealt with a lot of subconscious uh, self-limiting beliefs and they've released that. They've learned to work through that. Um, this is a person who's a communicator or very good at communicating. Um, they could be a bit gossipy or a bit real chatty. You know, they, they do talk. They definitely talk. But they speak a lot of wisdom because it's right here connected. They speak a lot of wisdom. They could be a bit materialistic or, um, you know, sometimes they could come off a little bit. Uh, they're not quite grounded sometimes, like in, in terms of uh, the way that they communicate. Maybe it comes off a little bit. Um, it's not quite. It's not quite proper, if that's what it is. It's like broken English, maybe. But anyway. What they want to do is they want to come with a, some type of peace offering here. You know, this is like the intent to revive your status, to give you your flowers. You know, a six of wands to give you some attention, to get you noticed. You have vision here and vision is about um, up here. I don't I'm not quite even sure what it's about, but it's Neptune energy. So I know this is about like transcending things. You know, this could be about dreams, imaginations, not quite seeing things clear. But here I would definitely say if they're trying to revive a status or trying to um, they're trying to revive something here. So maybe they're trying to give give you stability or give this situation stability because the five of swords is in the reverse, which is like a peaceful resolution. So if there's some type of like disagreement, this is someone who's a bit wiser and knows how to handle the situation, or at least they have a keener sight or a keener vision about what you guys need to do in order to build a foundation, a solid foundation, something with stability. And they may want to do it by the book. You know, they may be willing to defend this too, like defend the, the honor of this relationship. Um, this is a person who's very generous. This is a person who's very intuitive. A person who could possibly see beyond, um, 
behind the behind the veil because we have 12 house subconscious which usually gives off psychic abilities so this could be someone who has psychic abilities um someone who definitely has uh, authority or stature because i'm seeing like i said they got the king of pentacles excuse me and we have the uh the owl spirit and the owl spirit has a he has a crown and then we have gaia and i know she's a goddess so so they have some type of like regal spirit to them or some type of um higher authority like it's a vibe where people respect them you know and they're a communicator they're a talker they're trying to give you some type of status boost you you know this is someone who's who feels like they're aligned with you um but they're trying to get, put you on a seat of power that's what it says here seat of power they're trying to put you on a seat of power basically i'm getting that they just want to show you some love they're going to communicate with you all right um they want to like share a vision they want to maybe give attention to a vision or to your vision or something like that something like that but but basically this is a person who's a, a healer they're a person who's been through a lot of transformation um basically they're just someone who's building a lot maybe they built they built a solid foundation with followers or or subjects or or like a community or something like that you know or this is a person who uh who's built a foundation off of strong uh, beliefs, strong, like the, the traditional beliefs. They built a, a solid foundation off of strong, um, you know, traditional beliefs and they're, and they're willing to defend it, you know, and they defend it tooth and nail as well. You know, this is also a person who has um, maybe, maybe some type of uh, sexual desire towards you because Scorpio energy here could be that. You know, when it's time for release, that sometimes means that it's time for sexy time. So there could be like some type of level of attraction here too, some type of sexual level of attraction. And because it's Libra here and Scorpio here, I would say that this is a very attractive person as well. And with this Leo energy here, the Six of Wands energy is like Leo energy. So with that being here, I would definitely say that this is definitely an attractive person. Someone who's very romantic too, um, very psychic. Uh, they could come off as a bit secretive. They may have like that underground, that underground information or underground understanding. They may also spoke, speak in like broken language or, I mean, it could be slang, you know, it's just not quite proper, you know, and it could be a bit um, confident, very cocky. You may get a lot of attention because we got six of wands. They may get a lot of attention. But anyway, what this person wants to do is uh, give attention to your dreams. They are they feel like they feel like they're aligned with you and they're following their instincts towards you. All right. They're trying to give you a vision. Maybe they want to help you paint a vision. You know, because I'm seeing dreams twice. So maybe there's you guys sharing a dream or maybe they're going to share a dream with you, you know, or something of that of that nature. That's what I'm picking up here. But this person has a lot of abundance. Um, they're very prosperous. They're very optimistic. It's like an upbeat feeling. Yet there's also a feeling of like um, it's like they care for you. You know, like they're here. You know, it's it's like nurturing, but it's like um, it's like like it's upbeat and it's like it's loving, but it's like you don't know. It's like it's not that you don't know them or like you don't know them. It's like um, it's this feeling of like. You know how you kind of know someone and it's like you've talked for a while, but in the end, you kind of like, dang, that was like we had a great conversation, but I don't know too many deeper aspects about them. You know what I mean? And it's and it's kind of like that. It's like there's like they go deep about some subjects because that's where it is. It's like they go deep about some subjects, but they're not going deep about subjects that are like really close to them. It's like they keep that really close to their heart. They guard they guard themselves very well, you know. They guard them. They like they're, they're usually like isolated. They know how to isolate themselves very well. You know, so um, there's going to come in with with this energy of like maybe trying to build some type of stability with you or give you some type of acknowledgement, some type of boost. You know, some type of like it's like a kickstart. They're just trying to get you to notice a vision or to understand some type of vision, a bigger, grander vision. You know, so that's what I got. So let's go over the signs one more time. I got Sagittarius, I got Pisces, I got Scorpio, I got Libra, I got Gemini, and I got Leo energy. Okay? So, pile one, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney, and it's Leo in the third house.
boom, pile two. So, pile two. Who's going to make a move on you next? We have a Virgo. So far, it's the only sign I have. We got Pisces. We got Virgo again. And those are the only signs I got. So it could be a Virgo. If not, this is a very secretive type of person, a very quiet, um, isolated person. This is a loner. But but what they want is um, they want to collaborate. You know, now this person is, um, they're having an issue taking lead in their life or taking lead of the situation. So maybe they want to promote some ideas with you to help you get a bit grounded. You know, um, this is a person who might not be, they have issues with commitment. All right, because the first card out was Juno, which is about long term commitment. This is about um, partnerships and fulfillment and just unions. You know, what I mean, now this could be somebody that you maybe met in June or this is someone who you may meet in June. Could have met them in September or in March. Is that March? Yeah. Or February. Maybe it's February or it could have been February. All right. But they're going to want to give you an invitation to collaborate, to work together. You know, this is a person who's very self-critical and very critical of other people. Because with this Virgo energy and with this Hermit in reverse, this is a person who, who really is, uh, oh, what they're doing is they're examining some type of betrayal or some type of ending that hurt them. They're, they're kind of like looking at that or they're, or they're having a fear of looking at that. That might really be what the issue is. They're having a fear of looking at that, of this betrayal that, that's like kind of took them out. And that's why they're having issues with commitment you know so they're feeling like um, they want to fix this situation because we have adjustments are required so they want to fix this situation and they're actually uh, trying to do a, a deeper look or they're feeling like they need to do a deeper look they intuitively know that they need to do a deeper look at this betrayal or this ending that you guys had that may have been hurtful so this could be someone from the past or they just it's someone who's just examining this past heartbreak or this past disappointment that they've had and it's taken them out you know this hurt them a lot and they're just, they're not even fully, fully over it yet, but they may be trying to possibly get into a relationship with you. You know, they may feel like you fit the pieces into their life because we got ant spirit time to collaborate. And if you see the puzzle there, so they're definitely thinking that, um, you may fit into their life. This is someone who wants to promote, promote, uh, themselves into your life, or maybe promote some ideas, maybe shoot some ideas at you. If it's not necessarily a relationship, it's just someone who wants to collaborate with you. They want to work with you and get things going. Um, this person is learning to be more compassionate with themselves and others. They're just having an issue with long-term commitments and equal give and take. They're not quite sure about that. They, they're learning that. They're learning, like they're fine-tuning it is what I'm getting. You know, so they're, they're starting to pay more attention to the details because what's still kind of holding them back is this last betrayal that took them out. And they're still kind of holding on to that. They're just now getting their confidence back. They're just now recognizing that they're good enough. But what I'm getting is that's probably what they're going to tell you. They're probably going to tell you that you have value and that they want to with and that they want to collaborate with you because promotion usually means like throwing around ideas, um, allowing yourself to move forward in, in, a, in a, a mental aspect. So this could be that. And you got steady and right next to it. So they're going to be trying to steady this. And you have three of pentacles here. So they're going to want to work with you. They're going to want to collab with you. All right. Now, they may have fears from being burnt the last time with someone else. You know, but they're but they're really on the cusp of, of wanting a new beginning. They're just, you know, Ten of Swords is a brief moment. It isn't necessarily a long term. You know, it's not a major arcana. It's a brief moment. So it could just be like a day ago, weeks ago, months ago. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be that long. And it doesn't even have to be that deep to them. You know, it just could have been something that just kind of it hurt pretty bad because maybe they had an expectation, you know, because Swords for me are about expectations. You know, mentally we create an idea of how we think things should be. You know, and so with the Ten of Swords, it's it's like a big letdown of what I expected, this culmination of all these ideas and of all this this thinking. You know, I thought that this would be a, a better situation than what it was. And that's what they're examining with this this Hermit in reverse. They're like examining that, you know, they're doing the deeper introspection, you know, but there's a fear of it. Cause it hurt, you know, so there's a fear of kind of looking at that hurt, you know, but intuitively they naturally know that you guys need to work together or that it's in their best interest to work with you, you know, cause maybe cause of, uh, it's just, it's just like a natural knowing here, you know I mean? They naturally know like you guys have a, um, I want to say a bond here, maybe 
Maybe maybe this is a soulmate. All right. Maybe this is a soulmate to you. You know, but but what this person is doing is changing. Um, they're changing the way that they are changing the things that they respect about other people. You know, like they're looking like they're learning to respect people for having the same attributes that they have. You know, and so maybe that's what they're going to come in and, and do and speak about is like you have the same qualities that I have or that they have or, you know, like, you know, what I'm saying they're going to they're not going to be as harsh. They're going to replace um, negative words. So this, this may be somebody from the past, but it may not be because I don't really I mean, it could be because because, you know, the stars here in reverse, even I mean, it's not really a star in reverse. I, I say the hermit because there's, there's a star in that in that lantern. And so with it in reverse, I would think of it as a star in reverse, which could have been like. Um, a wish that was unfulfilled, you know what I mean? A desire, not a desire, but like a wish, a hope that just didn't come true. And it'd be like looking at that disappointment or looking at that that situation that just didn't go the way that you hoped it would go or the way that you thought it would go. You know, so it changed their perception of how they see the world and how they see people or what they respect about people around them. Like the attributes that they look for or that they're attracted to may have changed. You know, if that makes any sense, because because it's like a feeling of replacing the way they want seeing things with another way of seeing it now, you know, because because they're very critical. So maybe they were very critical of you or very critical of themselves. If this is someone from the past, if this is someone new, then they're very critical of themselves and very critical of other people. And they're and they're not really trusting in their drive to get things done, you know. And so here they maybe want to promote you and push you up into the limelight or get you going get you started, you know, they want you to take it one step at a time, you know, this is a person who's going to want to shift things very quickly, they may have a plan for you already, or they may have plans for you guys already, so if it's like a relationship or a long-term commitment that they want to do, they're trying to like um, fix it, you know, they're trying to fix those issues of not feeling good enough for having a long-term partnership or for having a long, uh, or having for having equal give and take, you know, in this, in this procession, because They've been let down, they've been hurt, they've been stabbed in the back and betrayed before. So they may still have that fear of um, commitment and being with other people, you know, trusting other people. So they're doing the deeper introspection and they're having the fear of actually like seeing what it was that, that you know, hurt them. But enough about that hurt for them. Really what they want to do is they just want to collab with you because you've changed how they see the people around them and what they respect in people now. Something about you has changed how they feel about themselves and now they're being more receptive because this is a heart chakra all in here. It's a lot of green and it's a lot of blue. So that's your third eye chakra and that's your heart chakra. So that means that now they're being more receptive. They're more open and and because I'm also seeing black. So that means that their, their uh, shadow side is being healed. There's It's being illuminated the way that they see themselves because uh, third eye chakra is about uh, the way you see yourself in the world and the way you see the world at large around you, the clarity that you have. So if your third eye is blocked, you're not possibly, you're not seeing the world in a clear vision. You're not seeing yourself for who you truly are. And you're not seeing situations for who they truly are. So this is what's being healed in this person. And they're going to make a move on you because they realize that you have the attributes of the people that they respect now because you've changed, either they've changed the perspective, they learned to like, fix this energy of um, a fear of commitment or fear of, of, of uh, partnerships or equal give and take because Virgo can sometimes be a sign in the earlier stages. They can be a sign of an overgiver and Pisces is a, is a sign sometimes of an over overgiver because they self-sacrifice themselves or lay themselves down for other people's causes or other people's needs. You know, and Virgo in the beginning, they couldn't be an overgiver because they're not aware that there's a time when they can pick and choose to give. You know, as they get older, they realize that they give from the heart when they want to, but in the initial stages, they probably don't do so. So this is a person who had to go through that and figure out that, hey, I am good enough and I don't have to over uh, compensate or I'm not being taken advantage by giving. So they're learning, they, they're healing, they're healing that aspect, you know, and so they want to come in and they want to collab with you because you changed um, the way that they see people or the outlook on the world. All right. So pow two. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna slide over here to Pile. This is my mom calling. All right, I'll be Pile Two. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Uni and Leo in the third house. Boom, Pile Three. So Pile Three. I had to change my camera because my mom was calling me. Anyway, uh, Pile Three. So Pile Three. Who's gonna make a move on you next? Could be an Aries, could be a Taurus. Um,
could be an Aries, could be a Scorpio, could be an Aquarius, okay? This is someone who wants to collaborate with you, all right? They've kind of contemplated this for a minute. They were feeling like they were seeing an illusion or like they weren't quite seeing things clearly. This is someone who might have realized that they weren't seeing you clearly or, 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 or they're having issues being creative. You know, they're like, it's like a writer's block. Maybe they could have that or creator's block. They're having some type of issue here and it's like a tower moment has suddenly hit them. This is the type of person who is a, a my way or a, the highway type of person. This is a person who sometimes fights needless battles, you know, pointless battles. This is a person who can also come off as a bit emotionally manipulative or who only cares about themselves. Because, you know, the Queen of Cups can sometimes be a person who only cares about themselves. Queen of Cups in reverse, right? Yeah, and, and because we have it right next to Aries energy, which can, can usually considers itself to be, I mean, which I usually consider to be a uh, selfish sign. You know what I mean? The emperor is a my way or the highway type of guy. And Scorpio energy is very possessive, very dominant, controlling, mine, mine, mine. So this is a type of person who's like my way, my way. And Taurus energy here, stubborn. So you got, you got Aries energy, you got emperor energy, you got Scorpio energy. You got Taurus energy and you have a Queen of Cups in reverse. This type of person is like a my way or a highway type of person. And it's like they're going to do whatever it is that they want to do when they want to do it. But the thing is, this person is now switched their, the way that they see you. You know, something about the way that you're handling business or you're handling your responsibilities has changed the way that they're seeing you now. And so they're having a problem of letting go. You know, they've suddenly realized that they're not quite happy alone or they're not quite uh happy single they're not very enthusiastic about being single maybe they can't pick the right options or maybe there are no options because seven of cups can sometimes mean um not seeing any healthy options you know so this is a person who's who's uh, maybe closed it end or ended closed out a lot of options or got rid of a lot of options you know what they're doing is contemplating collabing with you or coming together with you you know with this aquarius energy they're wanting to share their feelings and their emotions so they're considering whether to to fill your cup look here they're considering whether to fill your cup you know with this four swords you know they might be considering past heartbreaks as well that might have been affecting them you know and that might be why they can't see they couldn't see you quite clearly so this could be someone from the past but and, and i would say it's someone from the past because you know with with a tower and versus no it doesn't have to be someone from the past now i mean when i say like someone from the past i mean it doesn't have to be someone that you've already been with you know this could be just someone who's just um you might have known or known of, known through someone, you know what I mean? But this is a, they have like a nurturing energy, but but kind of like they don't need other people, you know, and, and they give off the vibe as if they don't really care about other people's beliefs. You know, sometimes they fight when they don't need to, or they're contentious when they don't really need to, but they're having a sudden realization right about now, and they're not trying to let go of, oh, so this person is also a person who's kind of resentful. They don't, they don't let go of, um, or like past hardships or past or past discrepancies or past uh like issues if there was if there was a um if there was a i want to say like not not necessarily an argument but there's like a breakdown in communication or a break breakup of, of a uh, of a relationship this is a person who doesn't let go of that resentment or that frustration like they never forget how that situation ended but this person is actually changing their uh, the way that they're seeing you you know, or they're changing the way that they see their singlehood. This person doesn't necessarily want to be single. They're not codependent. You know, they are abundant on their own. You know, they have some type. They might even be an entrepreneur, to be honest. Like, you know, there's this is an attractive person as well because the nine, the nine of pentacles for me is that most eligible bachelor, most eligible bachelorette. You know, so this is that person who's who's comfortable alone, but they're suddenly realizing like, I'm not really that enthusiastic, you know, enthusiastic about being alone. You know, I have a lot of pointless options. That's how they're really feeling, you know, and they feel like like they they put their eggs in the wrong basket, you know. So now they close themselves off. Now this could be someone from your childhood, or this is just someone who's um. I kind of feel like it's from your childhood, but it doesn't necessarily have to be either. You know, this could just be someone who's um given that given that vibe of like you've known them before you know what i mean so that's why i say it doesn't it gave off the vibe like this was someone from the past but it doesn't feel like a past like like a past it feels like someone that you've known before you know or that you know of 
You know what I mean? Like it's it's definitely in that area. You know what I mean? But this person is is like they won't forget you. They're trying to open their heart. That's what because I'm seeing a lot of green here again. So you have green, green, green. You got green here too. This is like surrendering. You know what I mean? There's a lot of green here. So there's a lot of heart chakra here. So this person cares about you, has a lot of feelings for you. Um, they're just trying to build up a plan. You know, they just, you know, this could be a Taurus because Tauruses do have issues letting go. You know what I mean? They have a lot of issues with that. This could be like a, a sudden ending that you guys just had that kind of came out of nowhere, you know, and they're having a problem letting go of that, you know, but they're still, ooh, <clears throat> they're still spying on you. They're still watching you. All right. All right, but this person is learning to let go of resentment, let go of frustration, you know. They may be having, like I said, they may be having creative blocks because that's kind of showing up right here with this this Ace of Wands in reverse with this uh, Seven of Cups. I'm feeling like creative blocks and maybe they're just kind of sitting and pondering because their whole intention here is to collaborate. That's what their, that's what their intention is. This is the move that they're going to make here. Now, this person sees you as a gem or a jewel. They see you as someone who stands out. You know, um, they want to experience ever greater love. So they're tired of being alone, is it? Like, that's what they're suddenly realizing. It's like, the way that I've always done it, I'm going to have to give that up. You know, because this king of uh, the seven of wands with the, with the emperor energy, it's like they know that they're going to have to give it up. But they don't really know how to let go of this, of the, like, oh, that's what it is. They don't know how to let go of the beliefs that they have. Because Taurus can rule traditional beliefs because it's a hair font. So Taurus could rule uh, traditional beliefs, you know, so they're trying to figure out exactly how do they let go of, you know, like it's like a level of stability, how to let go of it. And so this is that where that tower energy is that's right next to time to let go. You know, it's, it's a tower of, of always having it their way. You know what I mean? They're suddenly realizing that this is what's kept them single. You know what I mean? That's, and that's, and then now the seven of wands can be, I mean, the seven of cups in reverse can be them coming out of that illusion. You know, after sitting in some deep meditation and some deep contemplation, now they realize maybe I need to share my feelings. Maybe I, it's best that we collaborate, that we work together, you know, and this is coming from a level of, of a detached analysis. So when I say detached analysis, this is coming from a distance where if something happens, maybe right then and there while I'm inside the argument, I don't see it. But let's say days later, weeks later, months later, after some consideration and some deliberation and from looking at it from an angle where I'm no longer emotionally involved, now I can see it clearly. And that's what this is. Like the tower with the nine of pentacles is a sudden realization of yourself. It's like, oh, snap, I realized that it was me. You know what I mean? And that's what this is all about here. You know, it's like they suddenly realize that this is them and there's a fear here. And so they're trying to release this fear. So they, so this is purple. So this is crown chakra. So they've gotten some type of uh, spiritual enlightenment or some type of spiritual download that's coming to them. You know, and so now they're ready to release this suffering that they've been holding on and change the perception of how they've seen you or how they've seen this situation or maybe how they've seen themselves. You know, and now there's a responsibility to maybe patch this or repair this situation with this collaboration or, or sharing of emotions, you know what I mean? Sharing of feelings, expressing something, or just sharing information, if not necessarily feelings, because Aquarius is usually about sharing information, you know? So they could be coming in to share some type of information with you after having a changed perspective, you know what I mean? And how you're gonna be able to tell this person that they're very attractive, this is a person who's surrendered it, who's gonna be surrendering their beliefs or, sur or letting down their guards. They're not gonna be coming in in a defensive way. They're not going to be coming in with this my way or the highway type of way. This is going to be a person who's going to be coming in more relaxed, more chilled, more, um, uh, for lack of better words, kumbaya-ish, you know, like peace, peace be, let's just, you know, let's just keep it cool. You know, I want to, I want to work with you. I want to, I want to help you out. There's an, there's like an assistance here. Okay. There's a, there's a need to want to add value to you. All right. So let's go over signs one more time before I close this out. We got Aries, Taurus, uh, Aries again, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And we could have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again, because we got a person here with the Queen of Cups. All right. So, Pile 3, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Nuni. And this Leo in a third house.
power four. What's up? Power four. Who's going to make a move on you next? Could be a Libra. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Taurus. Could be an Aries Leo. I mean, not Aries Leo. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, a Capricorn, a Libra. Or it could be a Leo because we have fifth house. All right. So it could be one of these signs. Now, this person wants to build some type of relationship with you, some type of partnership with you. First card out was the seventh house, which is Libra, which is also about partnerships, marriage, business endeavors. Um, so this is a person who wants you to see the bigger pictures. They want to, something about your confidence. So, okay, so what you're needing to do is have confidence in this moment. Uh, this is going to be a moment of personal power for you because I'm seeing a lot of yellow. You know, I'm seeing a lot of purple. So this is uh, divinely guided. You know, there's a lot of purple here. This is going to be a person who is, um, they're going to be kind of aloof, but very educated, very, very um, communicative. They're going to be a person who's very attractive, for sure. Very sexually attractive as well. Um, and this is going to be a person who maybe has, has learned some harsh lessons you know, who's, who's still kind of like working their way through it, you know, but I get like they're surrendering, they're surrendering like the, their verdict. That's what I'm getting. Like they're surrendering their verdict or, or they're doing something here having to do with their abundance, you know, and, and maybe they might've gotten it ill gottenly, or maybe they've gotten it some type of illegal way. You know, there's, there's like, cause the justice with the devil in reverse could be like a legal way or you know, a way where they've escaped karma, where they haven't gotten what was coming to them and it's connected to abundance here with this Buffalo spirit, you know, or maybe this is a person who might have done time before, you know, but anyway, what I'm getting is, is that, uh, they want to create some type of passion with you. Now this could be, um, this could be sex, but this could be art. Cause I'm, I, I, I feel more like art, right? You know what I mean? Like this could be like a more artsy person or some type of creative venture. You know what I mean? Because they, because you have a common ground, and the common ground is in is in creativity. You guys have the same type of creativity. You know that's where your common ground is. You have the same level of creativity or the same type of inner child, where you guys are just as playful, just as outgoing. Because Gemini can represent the inner child. You know, and so that's what the fifth house also would represent in astrology, like your inner child, the way that you create, the way that you self-express yourself, short-term relationships. Um, I said creativity already, uh, romance, uh, entertainment, you know what I mean? Joy, stuff like that. You know what I mean? And that's arts and crafts. That's what the fifth house would represent. It's, it's that energy, you know what I mean? And so you guys are sharing in that, in that energy there, you know? So this is a person, this, oh, so TikTok here in this moment means divine timing and meaning that you don't have to do anything. So this, so you have a lot of, we have one, two, so two uh, major archons in this. So this is a divinely orchestrated moment. And like I told you, I was seeing a lot of purple. So this is going to be a divinely orchestrated moment. And what's going to be important is your, is your confidence and the way that you communicate. All right. The subtleties, something about subtleties. Okay. Now they're saying that you're going to be able to get what it is that you desire in this relationship. You're just going to have to do more work or you're going to have to do the work to get the, re the reward. All right. And it's saying, don't let your past hold you back. Confidence is going to be the key to this moment. So you may feel like you're not able to do it when they come in with this, but you're going to need to look at the bigger picture. This is a lucky time for you. Look at this from a higher perspective. You know what I mean? This is a very abundant moment for you. And this is divinely guided for you. Okay. So they're going to want to come in and create some type of partnership with you. Then they're going to find a common ground with you in terms of passion or creativity. All right. They're going to probably surrender to their, their own beliefs or like kind of like allow themselves to, um, be more pliable with you. Like they're not going to try to assert dominance over you. You know what I mean? Maybe that's the energy of that. Or maybe, or maybe they may assert dominance. Maybe that might be what it is. Maybe that's what the devil energy is, is that maybe they may assert dominance over you, but there is an energy of them being, um, kind of maybe dismissive or maybe, um, a bit aloof with you. Not, not all the way like, uh, expressing themselves. You know what I mean? There's just a lot, a lot of sexual tension here, a lot of sexual energy, but, but in terms of like clarity, there's not much like you don't really know exactly what's going to happen, you know, but only thing that's going to really like kind of cure this situation is going to be your 
trust in your gifts, your spiritual gifts, and trust in your, uh, your, your like authenticity, trust in the value of you, trusting that you know what you have to offer at this time, right? That's going to be important, knowing what you have to offer, all right? Because you may be in an energy of feeling like when they come in, you may be in an energy of feeling like you can't quite do that. You know, they may be wanting to find some type of common ground and create either a level of passion or work at some type of, you know, art, you know, maybe create something with you together. And that's going to be your common ground. Maybe they want to take you out on a date, paint and sip, you know what I mean? Or something of that sort. But they're going to come in with an energy of trying to get next to you, trying to get close to you, you know, maybe trying to fix a wrong, you know, or maybe not trying to fix a wrong. Maybe they just trying to like sidestep that because there's also that energy. Because, you know, Queen, Queen of Swords in Reverse can be a aloofness, but it can be like subtlety, like not saying what's really there, not really having any clear boundaries. And with the Swords down, for me, I always think of it as not having any clear intentions. You know, with the Devil there, you know, that's anything but positive at this moment. You know what I mean? Even though it is, because they're abundant, you know, there's abundance here for sure. And it's connected to the Devil energy as well. So they have some type of, you know, physical, physical stuff. And it's not necessarily in a negative. They just have control or they have some type of uh, some some level of like uh, of authority here as well. But maybe it's it's not it's not ill gotten. It's just very, very deep control. You know, maybe they have control issues. Maybe that might be what the issue is. Maybe this person has control issues. And when they come in with you, they may be just just learning how to let down their guard or now learning how to uh, not be so defensive with other people. In terms of like trying to connect, but either way, whatever way is going, this was divinely divinely guided for you. Because like I said, you have two major arcanas here, and we have TikTok upright, and TikTok upright represents a uh, divine timing. Now, this person is also a person who's very uh, calming. Um, they could be a, a very blunt speaker. Um, like I said, they could be a bit crafty, but they're very intelligent though. Um, but this could be somebody from your past as well. But this is someone who wants to cooperate with you they want to negotiate now they want to find some way to um, meet you in the middle you know in terms of like passion or creativity and they want to they want they don't want to be so defensive they want to put their guards down you know and what i'm getting is the tables have turned here all right because justice in reverse sometimes could be the tables have turned and maybe now you have the power you know what i mean and the, and the ability to create the boundaries that might be what's going on here too could it saying step forward and be the bright light that you are which is meaning step forward and take charge of the situation so you may have uh the overall advantage at this moment so whenever this person comes in you may actually have the overall advantage in this moment and may not quite know it so be aware of that so um pile four that was your reading Thanks for watching. This your boy Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house.